We would like to recognize a member of the Rainbow Wahine staff who will be leaving after three years with the program. Kayla Kalawao has been the team manager for the Rainbow Wahine and will be graduating from UH this December with a degree in entrepreneurship and finance. Kalawao played three seasons. Kalawao played three seasons at Kamehameha School, Maui, where she was voted player of the year and named Doll State. She then went on to play collegiately at the University of Syracuse before joining the Rainbow Wahine staff in 2011. Ladies and gentlemen, let's please give a warm aloha to Kayla Kalawao. And now, here to present our senior awards and lay, please welcome from the University of Hawaii Federal Credit Union, President and CEO Janine Morse, Vice President of Member Services Brian Anderson, Member Services Manager Debbie Wilson, and Vice President of Marketing Barry Carroll. And representing the University of Hawaii, please welcome back Director of Athletics, Mr. Ben Jay. <laughs> and Associate Athletics Director, Senior Women Administrator, Marilyn Moniz Kaho'o Hanohano. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a special presentation before we introduce our players this evening. We turn our direction to the tunnel on the opposite side.
sort of dig this. comes to us from Carson City, California, where she was a top prospect coming out of high school. TK has been part of the Rainbow Wahine family for five years, lettering her past four. For her career, she has played in 74 matches as a middle hitter and collected a total of 27 blocks. She had a career high seven kills against Louisiana Tech her sophomore season and a career best four blocks Winning last down. season against Cal Poly. TK will be graduating this spring with a degree in family resources. Ladies and gentlemen, 6'1 middle hitter, number three, Christiana Tuaninga. And there you see Christiana Tuaninga with a nice punt into the stands. First, the senior from Carson really worked hard in the gym, really pushed herself even in this final season. As you can see, some of the fans taking the balls. You'll see each senior kick a ball into the stands. It was actually started in 2003 by another group of seven seniors. That class began this tradition and it continues even today. So I have a question for you. What has been the most fun tonight so far? I guarantee you the seven seniors love almost as much as beating Northridge, throwing the balls at Dave <laughs> <Shelby>. <laughs> I think so. And I'll tell you what, you can see how relieved they were when that dance was over. <laughs> they were as nervous for that performance as they were for the three-set match against Cal State Northridge. No I think. question. But great to see uh, the Twininga Ohana here. She also has some family locally, so it's a nice mix of both her family from Carson, California. Again, Twininga, just a great attitude, the type of player that you want in the gym that will push the players and she really helped to develop the other middles of Adolfo and Borster because she pushed hard just as, uh, just as hard every day in practice. <laughs> Somewhere in there, she's barely able to breathe when they start kicking her under arms. Pretty special moment for somebody that, as you said, worked so hard to didn't get to play as much as certainly she would have liked. Ladies and gentlemen, Christiana Tuaninga. Our next senior played her high school ball at Punahou School here in Hawaii before going away for two years and playing at Southern Utah. The Waianae product returned to Hawaii in 2010 and has been a member of the Rainbow Wahine program ever since. In her two seasons on the court, she played in 43 matches and had a career high of four digs earlier this season in a UH win against the University of Texas El Paso. She'll be graduating this spring with a degree in Hawaiian studies. Ladies and gentlemen, defensive specialist and serving specialist, number six, Courtney Levepali. Well, if you were with us last night in the post game show, we had an opportunity to talk to her. And just somebody who, as you pointed out, Ryan, started her volleyball days wiping the floor here at the Stan Sheriff Center. And now this moment, 
the only local girl out of the bunch, out of Punahou. And it's so ironic, you know, I remember I was with, when I was with the team, Courtney was a sophomore at, in high school. And Dave Shoji came to practice one day and she, he said, there's this Lele Polly girl at Punahou. She's got a fantastic serve. And who would have thunk some several years later, she would become a serving specialist for the Rainbow Wahine. And she's battling for the Navarro spot, but it's tough to win that spot. She has some awfully good people in front of her. But uh, when she had to become the serving specialist this year, she came, won the job, lost the job, won the job, lost the job, and she won the job again recently. See her dad call you right there. <laughs> Got to be a bittersweet moment for the parents. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and that is classic Kali. <laughs> he is a comedian. You know, when you think about for the parents that have given so much of their lives in terms of sacrifice and money and time and energy and commitment, and for them to see their children come to this point where perhaps they will not play again and this is the last that they get to enjoy something. Uh, Boy, it's a, it's a really special, kind of a bittersweet, sad, fun, wonderful, emotional moment. Thank you. I'll give you your bag. Oh, two. Ladies and gentlemen, Courtney Lily Polly. Hailing from Lake Forest, California, but born on Maui, this next senior is a four-year letter winner for the Rainbow Wahine. She came to Hawaii ranked number 55 on prep volleyball senior aces list and for her career played in 117 matches tallying 139 kills and putting down 85 blocks last season she posted a career high nine kills in a win at uc irvine and this season had a career best six blocks against uc riverside she'll be graduating this spring with a master's degree in english ladies and gentlemen 6-1 outside hitter, number two, Kayla Goodman. Let's hear Kayla Goodman actually born on Maui. She's really become a blocking specialist if there was ever a position made specifically for that, but she's one of the best right side blockers, if not the best right side blockers for this team. And really another one of those players that you want in the practice gym just continues to push the starters and and a phenomenal student in the classroom as well. An unsung hero of sorts. She has that special little role that where she and uh, Taylor Higgins come in and that double sub and late, late in the games. And so it's tough to be, to keep warm and keep up and keep emotionally charged and ready to go when you know you're only gonna play between 20, points 20 and 25. And, and as Ryan and I know, and during the timeouts when the Wahine are on this side of the court, their, uh, their second set side, during the timeouts, it, it's TK, and it's those three that you just mentioned doing their little drills. And, you know, Kayla and I, we, she would come out, and she would always bump one and back and forth with me, and sometimes I would sneak them Halloween candy, but they had to make sure that Dave didn't oh, see them. Oh she's, she's really a fun, sweet spirit, and uh, just kind of had a lot of fun getting to know her. She's just a sweetheart of a girl. Ladies and gentlemen, Kayla Goodman. Originally from Phoenix, Arizona, this senior became a part of the Rainbow Wahine family last year, transferring in after two seasons at Arizona State. For her career at Hawaii, she's played in 49 matches with 202 kills and a total of 48 blocks. Last season, she had a career outing at Long Beach State where she drilled 13 kills and posted 19 digs in a UH win on national television. She'll be graduating this spring with a degree in communicology. Volleyball fan, six foot outside hitter, number 15, Ashley Castle. Some of these girls really go above and beyond in terms of decorating the ball. What a keepsake that that's going to be for the fans and get to walk away and uh, hold the ball. But we all remember when Ashley came over last year and 
just a great addition to this team. And it's so fun to see that these girls have such a fun, silly, wonderful, loving nature to them too, isn't it? Well, she's really blended in well, don't you think, Ryan? She, she came from Arizona where she was the number one kill leader for Arizona State. And it was a big shift to go from the desert to the tropics and try to work into this lineup. But uh, I think she's done a great job. And she's another one of those team players. She said that she wouldn't have traded anything. She wouldn't have traded any experience but to be right here at the University of Hawaii, to have this experience of playing in front of the fans. Someone who's very strong in her face. She's a leader off the court, really helps the bench and keeps you. things in perspective for the team. Oh, down here. And always goes hard. I you gotta love, you love that spirit that she brings when she does come oh, off the bench and she does have the opportunity to play. She is always out there cheering her teammates on. And just another fine role model for this Rainbow Wahine volleyball team. Ladies and gentlemen, Ashley Castle. You guys had a good luck in that time. Amy from Middleton, Colorado. This senior is in her second season after transferring from Penn State last year. With a national title to her credit, she immediately brought veteran leadership to the Rainbow Wahine at the libero position. She has started every match she's played in, posting over 20 digs in 12 of those matches. For her career, she has 475 digs and 53 service aces, and three times had a career high of 25 digs. She'll be graduating next fall with a degree in family resources. Ladies and gentlemen, 5-6 Libero number four, Ellie Longo! If you hear that, round of applause for Ali people appreciating and understanding how much value somebody that doesn't get to swing and put down the glory kills means to this team. And of course, she got out of Penn State when all that Joe Paterno stuff was happening and uh, all the scandal, but that was not why she came here. And it just turned out to be what a blessing it was for her. And who would have thought two years ago when she was in Pennsylvania that she would be doing the hula at home? I think, I think, senior night. I think nights like tonight are the reasons, one of the reasons why she came to Hawaii. She wanted a different experience, and clearly there is no other experience like what's happening right now. And her character, I mean, she's just a leader on the court. She was from the moment she came to the University of Hawaii. You see her being greeted by her parents who made their way from Colorado. Uh, but off the court, she's a jokester. I mean, every time that we've had the opportunity to talk to her on the side set, she's always lighthearted. Uh, I think that she should get into TV. I mean, she just has a, a great commentary. Uh, she's just very witty. And like, great to see her being sent off. One of the best liberos, I think, in the University of Hawaii. Yeah, one of the best servers, and she did it again tonight when they were down 2018. She ripped off five in a row. They always score when she's serving. Absolutely. This is from Phelps. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Ellie Longo. Our sixth senior. Our sixth senior will go down as one of the top setters in Rainbow Wahine history. The Long Beach, California native ranks sixth all-time in career assists, amassing 3,600 in her four years here with Hawaii. She had a career high 65 assists two years ago in the regional semifinal against Southern California. She is a two-time all-conference selection and last season was named ABCA All-Region and honorable mention All-American. She's also done it on the defensive end with 167 career blocks and 735 career digs. She'll graduate next fall with a degree in family resources. Ladies and gentlemen, 5'8 center, number 13, Mita Uyasso.
I look at Mika and I just see someone who is just the epitome of humility. And she just seems so understated, but yet she's so good. And even when they're going through her litany of amazing stats there, you can see that she doesn't even know how to handle the moment, which just goes to her sweetness. What's been amazing to me is watching her ballet-like moves on the court where she'll run full speed to get chased out of the ball. And somehow or another put her hands just right and put up a no-spin set that has hit me written all over it. Uh, just an amazing, athletic, finesse-type center who's just got better and better and better every year. And this is a special moment right there between mother and daughter. Again, we've talked about it, her mom, Sola, undergoing treatment for cancer. A few months after Mita arrived here at the University of Hawaii, she found out that her mother had cancer. And it was a very difficult time for Mita during those times when she had to be here at the University of Hawaii. Her mom was getting through treatment. She said the only reason why she kept going, the reason why she kept pushing is because of her mom. It's truly inspirational just to see the progression and how far she's come from being a backup setter her freshman year to one of the best all-time setters here in her senior year. Ladies and gentlemen, Mita Uyato. senior who hails from Los Alamitos, California, has already established herself as one of the finest players in Rainbow Wahine history. She's a three-time all-conference and two-time all-region selection and last season, making the transition from the middle to the outside for the first time in her career, was voted the Big West Player of the Year and named First Team All-American. For her career, she's played in 123 matches, amassing 1,412 kills, 667 digs, and 265 blocks. Last season, she smashed the career-high 33 kills at Long Beach State. 29 the next night against UC Irvine and was named the AVCA National Player of the Week. She'll be graduating this spring with a degree in communications. Ladies and gentlemen, 6'2", outside hitter, number 17, team captain, Emily Hartzell! Emily Hartong, who will go down as one of the best players who ever wear a Rainbow Wahine volleyball jersey. Hard to believe that she was a middle blocker those first two years, an outside hitter, never really passed. Now she's in the passing rotation all the time. And it's scary to think where she's going to be because if she's this good now, I mean, she's going to continue to get better. And I wouldn't be surprised if she makes it one of that national team. Or go play professionally overseas. Or that. One of the things that reminds me about Emily Hartong is her versatility and she's played in every position, I think, except setting, pretty much. Maybe libero, but uh, she just pretty much has done it all. She reminds me a lot of T. Williams, a lot of Kim Willoughby, a little bit of Lily Kahumoku in her. You know, a six rotation player who can do it all. You got a little bit of all those players in here, you're pretty darn good. <laughs> yeah. And the thing about Emily Hartung is she works so hard. She doesn't take plays off. You, know, you sometimes see these star players who, they kind of let that go to her head, their heads. Not Emily Hartung. She's being humble. She has her, uh, again, her family here in town. Her sister and her older brother, I believe, here. She also has a twin brother that plays for Indiana. He, oh, he was unable to make the trip. And if you believe all those things we said about her character and her class, her community service, and her grades, and her athleticism, go to Senior Class <laughs> Award and vote for her. There's about two weeks left to give her a vote and make her nationally recognized. And that sign right there kind of says it all, isn't it? For the girls that have entertained us so much for the fans to say back to them. Mahalo. 
them all. Yeah, thank you. Okay. You two guys are the last. Hold on here. I got I to get her in the middle. Stay right there. I'm going to bring her back to you. And then you go to any other volleyball high school or maybe JUCO transfer. And you say you're going to go where? Well, let me give you this DVD. Go home and watch what we do on senior night. Forget about the fact that we're one of the greatest programs. <laughs> and the great, You know all that. But this is what we do on senior night, okay? Right? There's actually a few recruits that are here. Hawaii does a nice job of scheduling their players or their high school players <laughs> to come and watch this. So actually on the sideline here, there's a couple of players that Hawaii is trying to recruit that is actually taking this all in. This is a great recruiting tool right here. Yeah, it's no, it's no accident they scheduled recruits to be here tonight. Why wouldn't you, right? Well, the seven seniors played by Ben Jay and Women's Athletics Director Marilyn Moniz Ohanohano. And for Dave Shoji, who there's really been no talk about might he, might he not, the whole retirement thing. You know, you look at this class, it's going to be a tough class to beat. Well, this was the class that he promised he would stay all four years for them. All the recruits after this, he's made no promises. So you never know what he, he might do, but uh, clearly this is a very special class to Dave Shoji. All right, well, we're going to take a break here from the Stan Sheriff Center. When we come back, an opportunity to hear from your seven, University of Hawaii, Wahine Senior. Stick around. More to come from the Stan Sheriff Center on Senior Night.